Not even the Westboro Baptist Church could stop a five-year-old girl from spreading her message of love. Jaden Sink set up a stand selling pink lemonade at the Equality House on Friday afternoon. And the Equality House is the rainbow-colored building directly across the street from Westboro's Topeka compound. She set a goal of raising money to go towards a message of love and peace after being told that the church across the street had a message of hate. Supporters came by in droves and one dollar turned into hundreds of dollars. Sink also collected one uh, over one thousand dollars with an online campaign set up through CrowdRise. How did the church respond though? The, well, they were not happy about it. I mean, the, the thing you can always kind of count on with the Westboro Baptist Church is that when you lash out at them, they're going to lash out back at you. So Even they, at a five-year-old girl? They don't care. They do not care. I mean, they're, they're the ones protesting, you know, soldiers' uh, funerals, right. things like that. So there's no sort of sense of decorum with these people. So they came out. They tried to heckle. Um, but it's cool. The community really came back. And, and uh, at this point, they've raised over $10,000. So a ton of money for this really cool organization that... You know, they, they set up that house, I think back in March, um, Aaron Jackson, who runs Planting Peace, he found out the house uh, was for sale across the street from the church. He bought it. They, they painted it rainbow. They've done a bunch of demonstrations over the last couple months. It's really just about raising the awareness and keeping sort of the pressure on, on this group and saying, what you're doing isn't cool. We're here. We're holding you accountable. And we're going to kind of have these little demonstrations every once in a while and, and bring people out and try and shut you down. Right, if they're not going to go anywhere, if they're not, as you said, going to be shut down, exactly. let's raise some money out of it. Let's, yeah. let's, you know, use it against them, I guess. And it's interesting, whenever we run a story on the Westboro Church, we, we get a lot of pushback from even our readers who say, why do you cover these people? Just ignore them, they're going to go away. They're not going to go away. And so my kind of point of view as an editor is that we cover this because even though they, they are the extreme end and they're crazy, their viewpoint is not that different than the viewpoint of a lot of people in this country. And they sort of work as a lens through which we can look at how a lot of people still feel about the LGBT community. So I think it's important to definitely cover what they're doing, but also especially when we have something like Jaden, who's doing something really cool, to, to shine a light on that and say there are people who are standing up to them.